What's going on collectors? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys this brand new ignition model RWB. In a world filled with RWBs, here is yet another one, but maybe ignition model can do something different from the rest of the competition. Let's dive into it starting right now. What's going on everybody? James with Model Cars Houston here. I'm posting up at least one video a week every Monday so if you're into this hobby or you're enjoying the content that you've seen so far, consider subscribing. That way you can stay up to date and don't forget that notification bell. All right guys, so what we've got going on here uh, is a world filled with RWB Porsches, uh, especially for us collector grade guys. We've seen this with so many brands such as Time Micro, PGM, Carmack, Fuel Me. I mean, everybody is making RWB Porsches, but here we are, ignition model, finally jumping on that bandwagon as well. Uh, Ignition actually came out with two brand new releases for this. This is the first time they're making it in 64 scale. The first one is a matte gold version and the other one is actually a gun metallic version which was only sold overseas in China as a limited edition. Uh, those actually sold out. I was only able to get one of these but if you're looking for that one it's definitely out there somewhere. But let's look at the deeper details for this one and see what sets it apart from all those other brands. So let's take it out of the box and see what it's all about. A few moments later. All right guys, so we've got it out of the box. Uh, first thing you notice, much like any other ignition model, is that it comes with this black plastic base. You'll see that it has the aluminum plaque here that tells you that it's a ignition model. It's a raw welt and it's a 993 Porsche. Uh, looking at the model itself, you'll notice that this is actually a matte gold uh, finish. Knowing Ignition model, they will probably release a whole slew, if not every single iteration that we've already seen before. But hey, if you're an RWB fan, you gotta get them all. This is a great place to start and start collecting all of them because these are the first two releases. So coming around the front, uh, you'll notice that the front bumper, the canards, headlights, everything looks cool. Uh, one thing you will notice with the Ignition model is they actually don't use the uh, turn signals very well. They actually just paint like a little stripe on there. You'll notice this on other models as well. Uh, whereas other models I have seen that they'll actually put like a little plastic insert in there to make it look like it's actually a real turn signal. Um, on the front of the hood, I don't notice the logo for the Porsche. And I also don't notice the washer nozzles. Now maybe it's because this is an aftermarket hood. Uh, maybe it doesn't have those washer nozzles, but I have seen the washer nozzles on other makes and models before. Question of the day for you guys. Uh, I know that there's a lot of RWB variants out there and I'm curious to find out from you, what is your favorite cast that you've seen of an RWB variant? Put that down in the comment section below. I love responding to comments. So I'm excited to see what you guys respond with. If you go around to the side, it's got the nice RWB sticker going on the side there. Uh, the over fenders look proportional. They look pretty good. It's got the raw welt banner on the windshield. I definitely like the wheel setup and the wheel choice here. Uh, looks like they went with Workmeister type wheels. It's got the polished lip and the black center. If you move around to the back, uh, you'll notice that it's got the signature uh, high wing. It's got the RWB logo on that wing as well. Dual exhaust, tail lights look pretty good. And uh, just love the wide rear stance uh, of an RWB. Now, uh, just for future reference, Ignition model will actually be releasing half cut rear 64 scales. So that might be the difference uh, as to how Ignition model sets themselves apart from all the R other RWBs. Stay tuned for those in uh, future videos and future releases. So if you guys want to see more eye candy like this and JDM collectibles, check out my videos here. I'll see you in those videos or my next video. Drive safe out there guys.